Hello, um, welcome again. Um, just going to be talking about just pick this gasket up for the Corsa. Um, just thought you'd be interested in to know what type of kit it is, and I'm going to do some more videos how to drill and tap the manifold. Other bits and pieces, fitting the gas tank, pipe and wire front to back. Right, I'll just go through it all. Pick this kit up from eBay, second hand. Um, comes with some ONVL fast injectors made by Westport, says on them. Um, they don't look that old, to be honest. Um, and they should be rather good for the Corsa. I mean the Corsa is only a 1.2 it's only about 90 brake horsepower um, a little bit some piece in a solenoid valve for the tank um, nuts, bolts, screws usual bits of stuff so you've got a map sensor um, so you're running a positive pressure and a negative pressure. Um, positive is from the manifold and then your negative is, how would that work now? You get a feed anyway from your gas temp, it does say on a diagram for this system. Um, this system is an Autogas AC, um, AC Stag 300-4 plus quite an old system now, I think they're up to ISA 2 um, we have the reducer or vaporizer, whatever you want to call it is a um, Zavoli Zeta N um, it's good for about 150 brake I think um, so you have your two water inlets your gas feed out, your gas in, a solenoid valve and a liquid phase filter. Um, vacuuming pulls the diaphragm out more for when you put your foot down. Um, there's a hole there for the coolant temperature. Um, as you can see, there's two nozzles on this vaporizer. Um, one I think actually might go to the map sensor or on this wiring loom there is a teeny piece oh. there you go so this would fit in line from your feed out your vaporizer to feed your rails and then that would just tee off into either the map sensor or onto the vaporizer um, I'll have to look that up and I'll mention it again. Um, fuse, inline fuse, just need to solder that back in, put a eyelet on it, connect it up to the battery. Um, there's the filler, I'm um, going to run it on Faro pipe, um, which is a polyester pipe, I think it's called, or PVC line, whatever. It is just easier to work with than copper pipe. Um, I'll be getting a, a box style one for this, so I'll mount it on the tow bar. Just looks a bit better for cars that have a tow bar. Um, and then there's the normal gas filter. Um, it's a cartridge type one, not a, an inline one that you just chuck away. This one screws. A bit like a, a paper element filter inside. Um, um, there's the ECU. Um, this one you connect. You can connect the lambda sensors up on this to give it a better fueling or whatever you want to call it. A better map when you come to calibration. Um, the gas tank is a, a 50 litre um, zero degree 
tank, um, Irene. Um, I think the tank is made in 05, that's the ninth month in 2005 the tank was made. Just come out here now. Ninth month in 05, um, so this tank has a life of 10 years, but not many people replace the tanks in cars anyway, so I've never replaced a tank or had anyone come and say they want the tank replacing or to be tested again, because usually if they're not leaking, they're not going to leak, it, and it all depends where you fit and in the car anyway, in or outside and how well they're protected um, so it's for LPG 50 litres and the height of the tank is 180 um, you've got all your stamp marks on it making sure it's in certification serial number um, the multi-valve is a Tomasetto um, multi-valve um, I'll be getting a, an airtight sealed unit instead of that silicon thing. Um, the brackets that come with it, um, they don't look like they're in top 11 spec, so they probably get knocked back if I took it for a test. Um, so I'll have to get some proper flat bar and mount the tank properly, I think. Um, oh, it may come with that little information booklet. Um, this is the sensor I was on about that fits inside the vaporizer, gives you the coolant temp. Um, I sorted all the wiring out from the ECU, um, just put it in insulation tape, got rid of um, the fabric tape that was on it, and just labelled it all up, just makes life easier when you come to fit it in the car so any questions let me know um be some more videos up soon anyway showing it right see you later bye